good luck. Let's see, we're going to do a rated game here, and this is a promotion game, so we're going to put this in emote only mode. Oh, jeez. Well, 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 well. I see we're not the only person who plays this. Fine. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> I thought this was my opening, man. What are you doing playing my opening? I don't understand you. Have I faced this opponent before? That image looks a little familiar for some reason. Um. <laughs> yeah, let's break on this file. Uh, okay. I am confused. My opponent has confused me. I am even more confused now. <sighs> so I'd understand that they want to exchange pieces in this situation. Where they have castled slightly better than I have. They would favor peace exchanges. I'm not sure that it makes sense so much though. Um, oh, I was considering Nifu on 5-5. Five five. That was great. That would definitely block the diagonal, but there's a downside to it. Um, it's illegal. So if I take this pawn, what's going to happen? I kick the rook, it goes back, all the way back. Um, hmm. So I debated dropping back my rook to protect against this idea, and he beat me to it. I'm trying not to have a strong emotional reaction to that. I think I need to just take this here. Acknowledge that, like, a bishop exchange does not wreck me. Because I don't see how it does. So I have a threat on this silver. Um, my king is going to take a turn to move when I get a move. But also I'm threatening to pawn drop on his king's head again. And I've got the extra pawn in hand. For all of my trouble that I'm putting myself through. See, I looked, and I didn't see any way he can destroy me here. And meanwhile, I am... Th well, I'm not threatening to take this silver, because it's protected. Um, I'm pretending to threaten that, but... Um, it's not a great threat. Even so, I think I'm okay. Yes, there's this fork. Um... I still cannot Nifu. I keep looking at it. It's still no good. Um, well, let's move our rook to a safe square. The only safe square for the rook. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, this is something of a threat. Point acknowledged. Okay. So, yeah, I missed that. Hmm. Okay, what do I do now? So the most natural reaction here is to panic. Um, I keep looking at ways to Nifu. Probably don't need to be looking at that all the time. Um, well, yeah, if I do a bishop drop here, he moves his bishop up. And I have to move my rook again. Um, Which isn't terrible, having to move the rook again. It really isn't. Um. Well, I think I've committed to this very aggressive thing. So we're going to let things spiral out of control and hope that we can assert control at some point. Um, I think if this moves back to the center, I can bishop drop and threaten to promote right there. Um, So he's going to have to move his horse a second time. He'll probably move it here. And maybe I promote there instead. I don't know. Like, we've entered the madhouse. There's no slowing this game down. So this attacks my silver directly. Um, so my silver is just going to move up toward the horse. And we'll see where this ends up. Also, my bishop's aiming right near his king. 
Yeah, he doesn't enjoy that very much. Um, I'm going to defend the center pawn. Okay. I don't see the purpose of this. Every move has a purpose, but I don't understand this one. I guess he's trying to force me to retreat. I'm just going to offer the rook. Do you really want it that much? Do you think a rook can help you here? Because I think a bishop could help me. Yeah, this guy plays this very aggressive opening. I think I faced him before and got crushed by him last time, too. So I should study more diligently before I get paired with this guy again. He's pretty good at this. This is going better than last time, but not by much. Okay, so this hits my bishop. Um, we're just going to bring this forward and start attacking again. It's a shame there are only so many files I'm allowed to put a pawn on. Well, this is less than ideal, but I'm playing it anyway. Ideal would be I could promote without having to give up material. Okay, well that's crazy. I don't know why you would volunteer this unless you really needed a bishop. Did you think my attack was this strong? I don't understand. Because I think having the rooks uh, considerably strengthens my attack. I don't get it.
Well, this is unusual. Um, we're going to push the knight. The threat is really crude here. Just to sack the knight for the pawn and then drop the rook where the knight is. Um, but I don't really know what else to try here. I mean, I could pawn drop and like try to pawn drop here, I guess. But for now, crude threats seem as effective as anything. I don't like that I just played that. For a couple reasons. One, I gave up the pawn. Um, yeah, two, I've given up my attack. Um. Hmm. We're just going to keep the crude threats coming. I'm kind of tempted to push the center pawn, but it doesn't immediately help me. Okay, at least now I have a target there. So now I push, and the idea is if he takes, silver takes, and then I pawn drop on the lance's head. Maybe not in that order. Maybe I do the pawn drop first. Okay, so he's hitting my knight. That's the tremendous risk I took on board by opening this up. Hi, well. Now he promotes in the other corner. Fine, whatever. You play your game, I'll play my game. Your game is better, but still. Um, okay, this is going to happen eventually. Let's put it on the board. This would have been more effective when the silver was not defending the gold already. So I missed that. Well, I don't know. Move ordering I don't think matters so much that, with respect to that. There's a lot going on though, where it might. Um, Okay, 
This is a sad silver retreat. So his big plan is to win my rook. It looks successful enough. That's not my most effective threat ever, because you can just take it, but I mean, what more can I do? Okay. I guess he wants my silver. I don't know why. I can't continue running away. Like, this does result in heavy material loss for me, but I can't continue running. Finally, I get something in hand. Okay, let's run away. So now that we have something to attack with, uh, let's use it and pretend that this is our plan. It kind of was, but... Um, I mean, this whole time he's been unveiling this threat and he's never gone through on it. And now is not the right time for him to do that because I have a threat. Um, wait, am I mated? No. Probably not. Two 
四、五、六。If this doesn't mate, I don't know. I don't deserve to win this. I don't think it mates. I don't think I deserve to win this either. Um. Wait, does this actually mate? That's insane. I just did this on a whim. Like, yeah, I thought this might work. I didn't actually read it out. 30 seconds is not enough time for me to read that. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. He does escape. Okay. Yeah, that's such a weird play. Um. I missed that he could escape this way. Or that way, really. There's multiple ways out. Um. And now I've placed my silver already. Knights don't retreat. Okay. I'm just going to promote this. Get my bishop active. Yeah. That's a sad move. But his king escapes anyway. I have no idea anymore. This is just not good at all. I might as well take this. But yeah, I'm kind of hosed. On the bright side, like this pawn's pinned, so maybe dozens and dozens of moves later. Um, you might find a. Well, he's gonna move his king, then break the pin. That's how he gets out of the pin. Okay. That's unwise. <sighs> I mean, yes, speaking in the most generic terms, it makes sense that a horse defends the king. But this particular horse placement is somewhat questionable. Oh, right. He's got a discovered attack, too. I missed that, but my bishop wasn't doing anything anyway, so...
10秒20秒1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10秒1 2 3 4 5Yeah, that hurts. Interesting. I can't take that. Well, I could take that, but I die. I'm playing quickly so many moves in a row because I'm sure I'm dead. But, um, we're gonna play it out. Uh, hang on. Yeah, no, I have to run this way. If I go the other, well, I don't know, I misread that other way, but I think this is the only way that affords, oh, well, that's a problem. Um, yeah, I am dead. Yeah, let's concede this. All right, well played. Oh, he ranks up. Good game. Let's see, are there further comments from him? He's, oh, hang on, he's showing something. No, come on. Be real, man. That's not a thing. There's got to be a mate here, right? Hmm. Is that... Are you seriously saying there was no mate here? Hmm. Yeah, like, surely... Yeah, I saw this. Standing by for rematch. All right. Uh, where's the rematch button? Plus one. All right, here we go. Good luck. Reset board size. This 
yeah, he's ranked up to 2Q now. Hmm. Yeah, that last game was special. He's good at reading stuff. Well, hopefully my interface has relayed the move. I'm not sure if something came up on his end. Have I missed a chat message, perhaps? Uh, no. Interesting. Alright, so we have a game. He's going to take all my rating points if I allow him more than two games. Because um, he knows the stuff and I don't. But you know what we're going to get? Knowledge. And you know what knowledge is good for? Getting rating points. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Yeah, we need to castle. So this time, being first player, for like I think the first time in three games with this guy, um this opponent. Yeah, now I have time to castle. Other games I might have also had time, I just misplayed things terribly. But um, here I definitely have time to castle. What? Say what? What is this third file thing? What are you doing? I don't understand. What have I missed? Okay, I missed that. What a... How do I not understand this game of Shogi so poorly that I don't understand what's going on? Um, something extremely dramatic is happening here, and I'm not sure what. Okay, we're going to play our Vanguard Pawn.
What am I misunderstanding about this position? Oh, this silver move. Oh. So I can't drop in the knight's head here. Because the silver is right there. <sighs> Jeez, pawn tension in shogi is hard to understand. Especially if I'm not diligent enough in studying it. He anticipates things that I haven't even seen yet. And he does it instantaneously. He's got a lot of experience. How can I compete with that? Okay, let's pursue a plan. It does not have to be the best plan, but as long as we're pursuing something, that gives some meaning to our game.
I should have just hit the gold and promoted on the other side. I missed that because I'm just mad that this guy is really good. I don't know why he's rated anywhere near what I'm rated. I haven't found his weakness yet. He's pretty good. Yeah, this is just completely a shot in the dark, because I had no idea what I was doing. And that seems pretty clear by now. Um, he does take time in these critical positions, as he should, to make sure to, he correctly defeats my attacks. Uh, but, yeah, what a mess. Hmm. Interesting. That both defends and attacks. It's a good move. So if he promotes the silver, then this uh, horse move, taking the pawn, forks the lance and the knight. If he just promotes up here instead, he's... well, he chose not to promote. So that's even faster for him. He's good. He's very good. Okay, we're going to hit the lance. Hopefully he'll let us take the lance, because I kind of need that. Um, they say don't run from a fork, and this isn't a fork, but we're not going to run from it anyway, because there's nowhere to run to. Um, I have one tactic this game. That is my tactic for the game. It's an okay tactic. It's countered just by moving the gold up. Um, and I didn't see that until after I played it, but... Um, I was quite proud for a moment there. They did something right. Okay, screw it, let's get a gold. 
How bad can it be to have a golden hand? And although I don't have it in hand anymore, it's still useful to have a gold very close to the opponent's king. So that king can't run uh, toward my half of the board. Now, if I were to check with the lance, the king would get away. So we're not going to check with the lance. Yeah, he's going to get away anyhow. I'm going to make room for my pawn to promote. Let's promote it. This is the slowest attack of all time. But it is an attack. Now this has an obvious weakness, but like there's only so much I can do about that. Obvious weakness is this diagonal, which is always the weakness of this castle. But if I don't risk something, I can't win. So. This is where we start risking things. I have to decide which piece to place. I think this is the correct piece to place here. I think that's the correct place to put it, too. This is the correct place to put a lance. It's not the piece I want. This sucks. We're giving away my very favorite gold. Two 
了二十秒一二三So the obvious trap is me just taking the rook. The less obvious trap is if he moves to my back rank like that. Um, he actually can weasel his way out of this trap too. I didn't see that. What's he reading? reading the same position. I don't even know. Hmm, I can't block that like I thought I could. Well, at least we got him into Biyomi. At least we can cherish that. That we made him think at least a little bit.
終了20秒1 2 20秒1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9I think he's still got me here. Shogi pieces don't do well at defense or at retreating. Um. Okay, he has a knight. What's he gonna do with a knight? I think he just self destructed here. Or maybe he was so afraid of my knight and somehow thought he needed to remove it. So I guess maybe a knight is this guy's weakness. Just like, if I make an effective knight threat, maybe that's what it takes to confuse him. I have a knight in hand. Ten 
20秒10秒10秒10秒10秒。People travel the entire world to visit this castle. <laughs> But wow. Um. Yes, so that's a good move. Okay, we finally make the thematic move. So I just have to not get checkmated now. What an adventure. Holy moly.
If he wants a game three, well, if I win this and if he wants a game three, we can have a game three. If he doesn't want a game three, I understand. Oh, jeez. That was an adventure. Okay, wow. He's a good opponent. He just, um... I actually found a good attack that game. Well, I was going to chat with him a little bit, but I assume... Assume that there's some reason play degraded that perhaps didn't have so much to do with um, the game, but perhaps a distraction in real life or something. Um, yeah, no, somehow I managed to survive that and then win it. And that was a roller coaster. And it's unfortunate this game didn't happen before today's uh, Shogi Harbor stream. But, uh, yeah, wow. That was quite a series of two games. This opponent's quite good. They obviously are familiar with what they're doing. I'd learn some things from studying this opponent's games. I really would. Um, because, yeah, maybe they play on, like, uh, Shogi Club or somewhere else. Um, I'm curious. Uh, I did admit, even at the very end here, I was sweating a lot. Um, so... What I thought I read was this, promote, and um, I think, it, oh, this is illegal. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you were searching for mates while he was winning, and you sent engine to find your mistakes as a bonus. Um, ooh, excellent. Wow. All right. We're given the eval graph at a certain point in the game. Uh, one second while I try to summon that here. Open URL. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's let's put this up on the uh, screen. Well, that's not. But you you all know what the shape of the eval graph is. So, yeah, no need to put that on screen. It doesn't really add any value other than Yep, he was definitely winning at one point. And definitely there was a turning point somewhere in there. Um, yeah. So the valuable exercise that I implore chess students to go through is identify points in the game where you think you were better, identify points in the game where you think you were worse. Um, now, I've seen the eval graph. It went from completely winning for him to completely winning for me. Um... As for the point at which that happened, I have to assume it's somewhere around here. Um, I have to assume that my very, very early pawn move and my willingness to run my king and... Well, no. My king's not surviving here. There's some point at which my king starts surviving. And that, whatever that point is, where I start to not be dead, is the point at which I'm winning. Maybe it is here. Maybe, like, some miracle happens here and there's just no way for him to checkmate me. That seems extremely unlikely. Um, a far simpler explanation would be that somewhere around here, like, where his attack just slowed down and he played this horse move, like, probably here. I have to guess that I'm mated by something here. I don't know. I can't actually find a drop for him. So, yeah. Oh! You're right, it did take more than one move for that evil graph to change. Um, so, yeah, it just... As my king marched up the board, things were good. Um, so, let's see. He did this check, which is pretty weird didn't really help him. Then he did this sacrifice to try to keep my king from going into the corner. And then he sacrificed this to protect the gold. 
and I took this. So I, my goal is to get into the corner. Um, if my object were simply to take the gold, that'd be a different thing. But here I'm taking a bigger piece, so... I mean, it's well motivated for him to, like, try to stop me from going into the corner, but it's too late at this point. Um, but also, where was it? I did some stupid things somewhere around here. So, um, yeah, actually what I did was fine, because, like, the only way he could hack down this pawn is if he could get a knight on one of these two squares. And that looks tricky to do. So this pawn is kind of unassailable by a knight. The only thing that could attack it is a pawn, but my king already covers this square. So, yeah, he doesn't have the correct pieces to force this pawn off the board. Um, okay, so by this point, yeah, even though, like, I was extremely shaken, um, this is just totally winning after I promote there. That's good. Uh, probably even a few moves earlier. So, like, if I had to guess the point at which... Um, I'm completely winning. I'm guessing, like, this... I would call this from a human perspective the winning move. The engines will tell you, well, the opponent was losing before this point. But, like, this idea of let's get the hell out of here uh, is the right idea. So that's the winning idea. As for when that became the winning move... Like, here he can't actually stop me from doing that. So I guess it's this silver fork where I said, you know, I don't want that silver. I just ran. Um, I guess that's the point where there's just no saving this. That if he really wanted or needed to save this, he needed to, like, stop me somehow from getting into the corner. But even here, like, it's extremely improbable that he could do anything because... I could still do similar things. So engines will say, like, this is all over. Um, I think that's too close. I think you have to try something like this, but it's still terrible. Um, so, yeah. So engines would claim that this is winning for go to... Or, yeah, no, I'm playing Senta. So around here probably is where the engine spikes and says that um, we've passed the point of no return. Um, yeah, this... And, I mean, it's well motivated. Like, we want to use the rook. We want to surround the king. It's just one tiny little detail that, yeah, you have to actually surround the king before um, storming in on it. Oh, well, yeah, okay, he can't do that here. So yeah, this bishop was amazing. It covered so many squares. So I've got this block of four squares covered. Um, uh, not that I need it, but my token covers this too. So yeah, we've got a lot of squares covered. Um, what was my move? Rook takes 5-1. No, Rook drop 5-1. Oh, wow. Um... So yeah, at this point in the game, uh, hang on. I did wonder, after I made my move, like, what about this? Free horse. Like, this has got to be winning too. And probably a lot easier to read. Um, so, the spooky thing is if I can't escape, like, if I don't have time for this, and the reason I might not have time for that is maybe he checks here and well then i can take this way so this check is no good um so yeah i guess <laughs> he'd have to check here and my king escapes into the middle of this madness uh no it doesn't that's not very safe so yeah um not the easiest thing to find ever but uh, so yeah, taking the horse, I think, is what he had expected. 
since I just did this rook drop. Um, my object with the rook drop is I'm sick of seeing all these pieces crop up right next to my king. Let's cover as many squares as we can. I wasn't trying to win the horse. Um, so yeah, I think it's this silver fork. Well, no, he's lost at this point. Yeah, no, I think you're right that... Uh, when did I first... This is so weird. I think he just got impatient. Or got distracted or something. Yeah, this Lance... He checks me here, and he checks me there. And he does this, and it's not check. I think he just got extremely impatient. Um... And this might be savable, but, like, more logical is probably surround the king and then go in for the kill. I think he just assumed he was winning. Oh! I'm not winning at all there. Okay. So, yeah. Consult your local engine. Um, somewhere around here I became okay, but I don't know exactly where. Um, yeah, I think when I played this, I was fine. That's how I'm reading it. So I think I move 125 after I play my token to 7-3. Um, I think I'm good. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you did give me the eval graph. Let's see. The eval graph... Yeah, it says somewhere around 125, the eval is improved, it's better for me. It was around like 121, where um, this went from I am dead to I'm not completely dead. So around here, I'm no longer completely dead, I'm just worse. But yeah, uh, so this means this lance drop is not the best move. And that... Believe it or not, I am lost here. Oh, what you wrote in the chat. Fun fact, until he dropped the knight on 5-2, he was a bit ahead, but just a bit. Yeah. Um, sorry, I am very excited here. Because he's a good opponent, and he messed up. Uh... And I guess that's why he's 2Q, and not, like, a lot higher. Um, but yeah, you said until he dropped the knight on 5-2, he was still a little bit ahead. But yeah, I think what I find amazing is that I am lost here. Like, it doesn't... <sighs> I don't know how to explain this. Like, this position is confusing to a human. But an engine would say, no, this is not confusing. This is white is completely winning. That Gota has, like, basically got forced mate, or at least something very strong here. They do have two golds, a silver, a lance, a knight, and three pawns in hand. So, um, you'd think something is possible, but... Um, also, just the horse is in a kind of strange location. The dragon's in kind of strange location. Um, Senta's actually started to build up some kind of checking threats, although with this gold here, there's no real mate threat to speak of. Yeah. Yeah, all that free gold was pretty nice. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I had offered, I said uh, at the end, uh, good gamer, whatever that greet button does, which I think is a, an expression of thanks. I didn't expressly thanks him for all the free golds, but uh, I don't think I could have won this position as Gota. I think that's what's striking me the most about this, like, this, uh, I would appreciate if I could understand how to win this. <laughs> because this is pretty crazy and fun. <laughs> I don't know. Um, 
Yeah, this is a really cool position. So the fact that, like, Gota can win here by force, it's like, oh my goodness, what's going on? Have I analyzed rook four seven? I don't know which move number you're talking about. Or rook drop four seven. I have not. Shut down. Okay, so yeah, this is the move that just occurred to me right before, or as I was saying that. That, like, they say a horse in defense is worth three generals or something. Um, but all not only is this defending, it covers some pretty vital squares and makes it difficult for the king to escape. And I guess, yeah, I only have four pawns in hand. So I've gotten over my problem of not having pawns in hand, and I seem to have swung the other way of, like, okay, I've got pawns in hand, um, what do I do? Uh, but yeah, this is not the right position to have pawns. Oh, 118. Okay, so yeah, a little earlier. Um, so you're suggesting here, instead of dragon takes two set, or maybe after this. No, you're talking about a rook drop on 4-7. I think you're talking about this dragon capturing on 4-7. Uh, I'm sorry, you didn't say drop. You have put quote marks around it. Um, I've not analyzed this. This looks like checkmate. This very, very, very much looks like checkmate. Um, yeah, that just mates. So, yeah. <laughs> That was close. Um, yeah. But yeah, I guess it's logical enough that, um, yeah, we have to surround the king and then only once it's surrounded do the checks actually have an effect. This involves giving away a tempo where like now it's my turn but I can't do anything. Uh, it would be fantastic if I could move the token here and run through, but it just hangs. So, yeah, this is covered. This is covered. A lot of stuff's covered. Not a whole lot I can do here. Also sets up a night drop. Um... I'm trying to read out why this is so effective, even with all these squares highlighted. Oh, I can only highlight so many of these. I should be more careful then. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six. So these are the perimeter. So why is a night drop so effective here? I mean this too, but still. Five three oh later, yeah later after my rook and token have moved away, for some reason. Um, yeah, the night drop could be effective. Yeah, this, in a way, this is worse than getting mated by that dragon on four seven. Um, this just sense of imminent doom where you could play anything here and you're just lost. This is just amazing to me in Shogi that such things are possible, but Shogi's a pretty amazing game. Yeah, in chess, you'd be able to escape by just trading pieces, and once enough pieces are traded, you have some chance of survival. Here, trading pieces doesn't help you. <laughs> That's a hard thing to adjust to. Anyhow, yeah, we had a couple of really good games with this opponent. Uh, so yeah, I thank him for these two games.